This tutorial video is about importing terrains from World Machine with Terrain Composer into Unity. But first, let's take a look at our World Machine project. Here you can see the island, and we exported it as a 2 times 2 tile, so 4 tiles totally. And let's head back to Terrain Composer, and here you can see the color maps the height maps, four tiles, four normal maps. The splat maps have two groups because we use a total of eight splat textures and with each image you can do four splat textures. So we need two sets. For the rendering, because we're going to use color maps and normal maps and the default Unity shader cannot render those, we're going to use RTP3 the art of terrain shading. And if you look at the screenshots, what rendering you can achieve with RDP3, the close-up detail, and these are only splat textures. It's like amazing quality. So let's get started by creating 2x2 two two tiles, create a scene parent, and choose our terrain save folder, and create terrains. Here you can see terrain composer made four terrains and they're stitched together. Now let's open the RTP preset here and this is a new feature of Terrain Composer that you can uh, save all the settings you did with RTP with one click in Terrain Composer then later load them again and choose what you want to load. So every script will be assigned automatically back again with all your settings and that can be a lot. So with this feature, a lot manager will be automatically placed. You can save a tremendous amount of time. So let's do the height map layer. We select height map output, add a height map layer, unfold, unfold the filter. If we click generate, you'll see the terrain composer terrain creation, which we don't want, so we delete the purling curve click generate it will be flat and then we can do input on raw height map and load our tile here our first tile and then if you click generate we will see that the tile is spread over every terrain if we unfold settings we can uh, put this to four adjust list and then you can load your four raw tiles in here but we want to do this without a search and we need an underscore y and alt click to close shift click to load and there it's done automatically now if you have many tiles like 8x8 eight eight, this will save you tons of time so let's do the splat maps now we select splat map output add a splat layer, then we need the first four splat textures in there, unfold the filter, and if we click generate, it will be Terrain Composer doing it on height, but we want um, to use a splat image, and drag and drop our first splat image into there, we need to uh, toggle that it's a splat map, and again we're going to use auto search here, so we enter the name string again and alt click to close and we can use load on generate here and if I click generate and then this has to be set to terrain this is our splat map and this will save you memory you can also use the list here but then every texture is loaded into memory on generation and if you do load on generate it will load unload each each texture one by one so now we can do a second splat map we shift click plus to duplicate this layer and then uh, we need to select the, the next and if you shift click plus it automatically adds the number from the previous one so we have the four to eight splat textures in there we drag and drop our splat map and then again activate load and generate and then it's done 
No, and if you're not entirely happy with the results, you don't have to stick with your import. You can use Terrain Composer to change anything. So I can add a splat layer, and I had made a little preset for this uh, with splat. And you can load and save any layer. That will put more sand on the bottom here, and it will over put it over the other two layers. And you can change anything, but let's first uh, assign the color maps and the normal maps so we go here to splat textures and then put in our color map in here uh, select our name string shift click out of search and the color maps will be assigned and you can imagine if you have 8 by 8 tiles how much time this out of search will save you Turin Composer is created that way that you can get results really really fast so and this is still low resolution, we can make later the high resolution. But if we want to make any changes, you can open your spot layer. For example, uh, instead of grass, we want it to be um, other texture. And you can see what happens here. And you can see still the green from the color map. Or I want uh, more grass. You can make any tweak you want anytime. Also for the height map, it can be blended with other height maps from World Machine or height maps you create with Terrain Composer. The options are just endless. For example, the height map, we can um, you can set less strength here. It's all very flexible. You can use a curve to um, to get different steep or more or this curve. It's very, very flexible. It's just not only limited to importing, but you can tweak your imports to whatever you like. And um, yeah, that's that's the real power of Terrain Composer. So let's do um, like we had. So uh, this was sand. And then let's do the high resolution. And we deactivate auto generate. It's 2K by 2K. Shift click, set all. And you can change resolutions anytime and then just regenerate and it's done then we do the splat map then we can add and drop some water and then we have the terrain from the runtime video and this is how quick you can do this with Turing Composer. Thank you very much for watching.